Hello, everyone. It's Phoebe. Um, I was asked by a friend if I would come to his neighborhood and give him an evaluation of uh, how his team could perform better to make it to the Champs League and to stay in the Champs League. Well, first of all, it's a struggle for low levels to to do just that. Uh, let's take a look at the membership of the hood. And you see we go from level 61 all the way down to a level 18. 10 and 12 can't participate. So it goes all the way down to level 18. Well, in this particular case, uh, level 20 is participating in the Derby as well as the 26 and a 28. A 30, a 33, 34. So in order to participate fully in a derby, there's certain things that you must have. So let's go over those right now. Uh, first of all, I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish harvesting. One of the things you want to make sure of when you're weeding is that you have space in your barn to get your little bonus. There goes the screw. I like that. I like that. So I'm going to plant some more wheat. I uh, happened to hit the wrong button a while ago and planted some cotton. So this is kind of hung up for a while. Okay, what about those raspberry bushes there? Well, they're not dead. They're for revives. I'm trying to find out if anybody in the Derby is doing a help task. And if they are, I can post a revise for them and they can have that done in a snap. So uh, the things that they must do to prepare to be very productive in a derby is this. Expand the machines all to nine spots as fast as they can. Um, I know a lot of beginners, they can't do it because they're free to play. They're not buying diamonds, uh, but uh, are they participating in events that would get them the diamonds? That I don't know. Like at the present time, we have a... Uh, boat event, I'm sorry, fishing event, and you can see I've already done 89 out of the 90 pounds, and that's because I have a limit on the fishing spots. I am going to go ahead and post that wheat and my, uh, I'm selling the raspberries that I got from those raspberries you saw there that I'm holding as revis, but I'm going to post some wheat because I want to have as much space as possible in my silo as I am weeding, and sell it full price. You will get it. Don't sell it at 10. Just tap that button on the right and make it full price, which is 36 on the wheat. This will help your bank to grow. I know it doesn't sound like a lot, 36. Well, you do it enough, you can really rack up quite a few coins and expansion materials. M's, as we refer to them. Sims is uh, for the silo. And... Um, BIMS is for the barn, silo expansion material, and barn expansion material. Okay, I've posted as many of the wheat as I can. So I'm going to go ahead and advertise. I'm going to advertise on the raspberries, and I hope somebody buys them up really quick. Now, I was talking about expanding your machines. You want to expand as many slots, and the first priorities for expansion are your feed mills, your bread machine. A uh, bread machine comes before the feed mill, so you'd want to do the, your bread machine. Uh, and the dairy and your sugar machine. The other machines, you can expand them one at a time as you go if you want to. Now, I recommend on the ice cream machine, the ice cream maker. Uh, some of the products take a long time, so you could stretch the expansion of that over a few levels, you know. And the jam maker. Uh, as you can see, six hours to make apple jam. Six hours is what? You would only be able to put four in there in a 24-hour period. So I wouldn't expand this over four or five slots on the jam maker because all of them take so long. But just about everything else that takes a short time, um, I'm working on trying to master some of the machines so it takes less time. Um, this is 25 minutes on the carrot juice. So I try to fill it up with carrot juice all the time. Uh, you would need every slot 
as time goes on, try and expand the slots. Uh, cake machines, some of them take uh, quite a long time to make. Uh, see the strawberry cake, three hours. If I'm going to make that cake, I'm going to put it in my ovens at night, let it cook all night long. Hopefully it wouldn't burn. <laughs> but anyway, um, so let's talk about not expanding your land. See, I have plenty of space for my machines, and I put the, fr the pond out to attract frogs. If I tap on it, I'll get froggies. See? Start tapping on it, froggies will come. <laughs> Okay, but I don't want you to go jump in the river. It's going to take a boat. <laughs> okay. Um, don't expand your land so fast. I got enough land here. I should not have to expand anything. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to focus on expanding my fishing spot. So let's go over there and I'll show you. Okay, as you can see, I have 89 out of 90 uh, pounds of fish already, and I have to wait a few hours for these uh, to be available again for fishing. This is uh, spot number two. It takes uh, two hours for it's ready to fish again. Spot number seven takes two hours. That's the shortest time on any spot, and they move up in time. This one takes almost four hours. So as you can see, I'm working on expanding my lake as fast as I can. I don't care about the land expansion. I'm not into decorating or so who can have the prettiest farm or the most decorations on the farm or anything. There's plenty of time for that in your future when you're up at a higher level. Uh, I didn't start buying any decorations until I was like at least level 60, maybe even later. I don't know. But then I start seeing, oh, maybe I might do this one. <laughs> maybe I won't buy that one. And I, I, very finicky and very picky if I'm going to buy or not to buy, if, I, if I'll use it or not use it. Uh, it takes time to uh, expand. It's very expensive to expand your uh, lure workbench. And I, as I can build up the diamonds, I will be expanding that more. And I have so many diamonds because I did buy a cute little offer for 99 cents. <laughs> but... Uh, Sometimes you get those on a lower level. Okay, and it's going to be a while before I can do this one. As you can see, level 44, and I'm only at level 37. But I'm already making uh, fishing nets. I'm not able to make any lobster nets until I get the lobster pot going here. Uh, but I can already make these. And on this machine, I have three spots because they can be kind of expensive and since I can only make the fishing nets that's all I focus on making here anyway and I, this one costs uh, if I wanted to make this net it costs me five diamonds to make it so I'm not making that net uh, as you get at a higher level you'll find it beneficial maybe to make the uh, the diamond nets because you can get so many other goodies in it uh, on a regular net you get fi three fish but on a diamond net diamond net you can get uh, there's six slots on the net and not all of them are filled but when some of them are filled all the way you will have like three fish and uh, three decos or um, pearl of the sea or something like that yeah we have a pearl of the sea here <laughs> so uh, and then another reason you want to hold off on certain things is here I'm making the colored net or the colored lures because I want to finish out the fishing event. I'm not doing the derby so I can go ahead and do the fishing event. So I'm making more colored lures. I don't have enough. But um, hold off on making colored lures. And I'll show you that in just a moment why you want to hold off. A bonus of the fishing that I'm doing right now is I see them jumping up and down. I have some diamonds to collect from my fishing book. Uh, and you can only uh, get the big fish during an event. You're not going to get them ordinarily. Um, this coho salmon, I have never got him except in an event. So you can get a lot of your uh, trophy fish, which is your book fish, during an event. Um, I got my copper red horse. And why don't I collect my diamonds? No, I'm letting them build up here. You know, uh, I call it saving for a rainy day. But I have quite a few here on the salmon. Uh, the first uh, 
bronze colored lure will be one diamond. And the second lure there, which would be, I'm not sure what color that would be. Let's see if we can see one. Uh, maybe silver, pewter, silver. <laughs> um, anyway, that one would be two diamonds. And the gold one is three diamonds. And the final fourth one is four diamonds. So I'm letting them build up. And this is a good time to start trying to get a few uh, of your fish. See, I got a lot of new ones just by doing this event alone. Uh, but during an event, it's a good time for you to use the colored lures. You don't need them any other time. And why I'm telling you not to do them, let me show you. Pets. It takes um, vouchers to get your pets. Uh, let's go look at a couple here and see. I don't know if I have enough vouchers that I could buy one and show you. But see, they all your pets are vouchers. So you want to get those. And the reason being, now let's see if you can uh, follow me here. It, when you get your pets, these pets, for example, well, I need some bacon. Let's go get some bacon. I'll come back. Oh, well, I got the, oh, I got to have room in my barn to do this now. <laughs> let's go sell something else. Uh, what can I sell on my barn? I think I'll sell some fish, even though everybody has fish. I'm going to go ahead and sell some fish. And I can sell, do I have any ores to sell? No. I will sell pancakes because I'm making more. And I will sell hamburgers because I'm making the bread to make more hamburgers. Oh, I can sell some ice cream. Uh, that gives me... Four, uh, 14 more spaces. Okay, now I can show you why you want to use your vouchers for your pets. I'm going to feed them after I collect the bacon. <laughs> I should have been ready for that, shouldn't I? I'm going to go ahead and feed those piggies so they can continue working for me. All right, we got the bacon. Here we go. I'm going to feed. Uh, I have a little routine. I feed them first, and then I wake them up. Watch what happens when I wake them up. I got a mallet. So reason this out. Mallets cost 12 diamonds each. By wasting your uh, vouchers, making fishing lures is keeping you from uh, uh, getting all of your pets and able to collect all kinds of uh, prizes for them. Now I'm going to show you on my big farm what I mean by that. Okay, so let me uh, just a moment. I need to put up uh, something to block what you guys can see. Uh, Valley Deco, would that do it? Maybe it will. Let's see. Okay, now you can't see me changing farms, which we do that for security reasons. Now I'm on my big farm. Yeah, it's ready to roll here. So let's get rid of the um, Valley Deco. Here on my big farm, look look at my pets. I have every pet available except for the birds. I don't have all the birds yet. But I want you to watch when I feed my uh, horses. I have 12 horses. For the longest time, we only had 10 horses. And they finally, Heyday gave us the other two. Okay, look what I just got. Four bonus items. A deed, TNT, uh, an axe. And I didn't see what the other one was, but I saw four go flying up. We'll do it with the uh, dogs here. Feed. Wake them up. I got a saw. And here... And I got an axe. So see why I say to do use your vouchers for pets. You get so much more for it in the long run. It when you do the uh, collect uh, diamonds over from collect from uh, catching certain fish, it still doesn't equal what you get here from the pets. 
That's what's this one. A saw on a tape. Feed the bunny rabbits. I like keeping them all together so that I can feed them easily. Okay, I got another mallet. And here is what we can get. Another axe. Now, come on, where's the building expansions here? Maybe, I don't know if the donkeys, they have to be fed every six hours. And I got another axe that didn't get a lot of good expansion material, mostly mallets and cutting tools. All right, so work towards getting all of your pets because, oh, they give XP too, by the way, because the game is not all about trying to just level up. If you level up too fast, then you will find that um, you don't have money for your machines. So I'm gonna go back to that farm. I'm blacking it out here while I change farms, if you don't mind. I'll go back to that level 37, is it? Yep, <laughs> got so many farms, I don't know what level I am anymore. I can take away the uh, blackout with my little doggy's face up there. Okay, uh, we're gonna keep weeding and seeing how many things that we can get from weeding. And I do, oh, I got some spaces. Another way I could create spaces in my barn was to run a few trucks. So I'll go ahead and do that. I don't have that many trucks ready. Uh, I don't mind spending all of my indigo. I don't grow indigo because it takes up space when you can always buy it from the newspaper. Uh, same thing with pumpkins. I buy what I need as I need and strawberries uh, because they're, I don't use them a lot. I don't find a lot of use for them. He says, do I want to do it? Sure, why not? And then I can go back here. And do we have any indigo in the newspaper? Of course we do, always. So eh, I'll take 15. So I've got my indigo back just like that. And I sent off the truck. So let's see what he's going to do when he comes back here. Creating space is what we're doing. I'm going to send this one out. And what do we have here? I'll send that one out. And then we'll see how much space we have. Come on, truck. There it comes. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to send it. Darn it. <laughs> Thing about fingers. Send one more. Or maybe two or three more. Who knows? I don't ordinarily do trucks unless I have a derby task or there's a truck event going on. Then we're gonna harvest that wheat and I'm going to show you what I like to do on my machines before I quit for the night. Okay, let's harvest the wheat. Okay, I let the wheat grow. I'm going to collect my coins and my XP from him, the little truck driver. I'm going to uh, put all these um, items into my uh, storage. Look, my barn is down to 400 now. I got room to store these. Now, I was asked about stacking. I have can prepare for a lot of my tasks the night before. Look, my barn is full. That's good. So what I'm going to do here, even though I've, I've got products sitting at the machine, I can continue making products. So let's take a look. I got three brown sugar and the three sitting there makes it six. And I only got one white sugar. So I'm gonna go with white sugar. And that will give me six, seven, I'm going to finish off with brown sugar because I'm using more of that than white sugar. Okay, now that machine is stacked, so to speak. Um, now the dairy, 
I don't know if I have any. I don't have any milk. I can put, in, put some goat cheese in it, though. It's because I use some goat cheese out of my, uh, or use goat milk out of my barn. It gave me room to store some more of the cream. But now that my barn is full again. So now's a good time to stack. The only problem is I don't have the milk to do it with. So let's skip stacking that machine. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and do some cotton. I got one growing out there, so I don't mind going down to almost nothing. Now, see, those will keep, um, the most you'll see on the shelf of your machine will be nine if you have nine slots. However many slots you have, that's how many you can store on the shelf. But you can keep coming back and adding to it all. I can't. Don't have a room for that. So I'm going to go ahead and let's look at the carrot juice. It looks like I have six there. And I like having at least 10 in my stock on my bigger farms, but not here. I better hold off. That's only five carrots. I'm going to have to go buy some carrots. I can do a tomato juice. What about the apple? Oh, yeah, we get apples and do the apple juice. So let's do that. A few apples. See what I mean about collecting the fruit as you need it? And now we're going to put in the apples. We'll go ahead and put in three. And what about the berries? Oh, yeah, we can put some berries in. And do I want to do jam? I have one spot open on the jam. So I have the blackberries. So I'm going to go ahead and make a blackberry jam. And now on the popcorn, I need to buy some corn before I use any of it. But again, you can stack that. And uh, that would be like after you get your uh, your dairy, your sugar, your bread machine, after you get them up to nine slots, I would uh, work on getting the popcorn machine up to nine slots as well. Because boats can ask for a lot of popcorn, a whole lot. Okay, now I'm going to be able to stack this if I want to. There goes my carrots again. So I have to be careful here. I can always go buy pumpkins. It's going to ask me if I want to use it. Sure, I'll use it. And I don't have the bacon. We can do this one. Anything over here? Oh, yeah, I can do some feta pies. And what about this one? I need bacon for that one. I do think, did I get some room in the barn? I did. I really did. But I can't get to my pig feed. So I have to get to that after I make room in my barn. Uh, make sure I one thing that I do on the feed as well. Well, I could. Eh, no, I couldn't. Um, okay, so my barn is full. I can go ahead and make up some more feed even if, now in the process. But here's what I do. Three chicken feed, okay, and two cows. Then I'll jump over to this machine. And I'll do three chicken and three cows. Then I'll alternate. I'll do two pigs over here. And I can't show you because I'm going to run out of carrots. Then I'll do three pigs over here. That way you will have uh, feed for the next time that you want to feed your animals after you collect from them. Do we have any pig feed? Yep. Can't do that one yet. <laughs> so, but if you have any more questions or anything, hopefully Denver will be able to ask, answer them for you. Uh, about opting out of the Derby, it's imperative if you're not going to be in the Derby that you opt yourself out. Also, do as many tasks as you can at, at, at as high point as you can, as your farm will handle. Uh, don't take anything that you don't have enough fields for. I mean, don't take a pumpkin task because it takes uh, two and a half or three hours. Speaking of pumpkins, I'm going to go buy some. Remember, I used them all up. Uh, so don't use anything. To, oh, we need carrots. They're one cent each. <gasps> oh, be a pig. Take them all. <laughs> but uh, you want to make sure that you your fields can handle the crop that you're growing. Whoa, wait a minute. I need a screenshot of that farm. I'm sorry, but I have to have a screenshot. Oops. 
There's a short in my iPad, I think. Nope, didn't get it. Not now, Siri. Go away, Siri. I don't like you. Did I get it? Yeah, I got it. Why am I doing this? Well, I'll point something out to you new people right now. Uh, I'll go ahead and take that or try to. Level 16. Do you see any fruit trees? He could at least have apple trees. Do you see any machines? At level 16, he should have quite a few machines, wouldn't you think? At least up to, uh, I believe, the cake oven. This is what is called a bot farm. All he does is gr growing carrots or other crops and sells them. He has not fed the chickens. Uh, he will not be opening his boats, most likely. And it's a bot farm. And I took the screenshot because I report them. And it would do you good to report them as well. And also on the bot farms, they never collect their uh, bonus package. That's diamonds from the last update, most likely. So uh, I bought them. They were there before I realized it was. A, I bought before I realized that it was the bot farm. So because I, I said, "Hey, wait a minute," and I went back and looked. Sure enough, it's a bot farm. So uh, that's something you can watch out for. Uh, avoid buying them if you can. Uh, sometimes just you just go through it so fast that you can't avoid buying them. <laughs> I got greedy. Uh, if you have any questions or anything or you need special help, I am Phoebe. I do uh, live YouTube streams on Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Time and on Sunday afternoons at 12 p.m. Uh, 1 p.m. Eastern Time. So come and join us. We'd be happy to have you. And uh, to subscribe to my channel. Hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to tap that little notification bell right there. So that you'll be notified anytime I go live or I post a video. Hey, thanks everybody. Uh, if you have any more questions, I, I hope I help some of you give you an idea of what's expected when you do go on join a neighborhood for the sole purpose of doing the derby. It's very important that you're prepared and ready to do derbies or you'll fail at your at your task. So talk with you all later. Thank you so much. Bye now.